Hey folks, this is Spyplane662, and I've got some big updates here. I've been pretty busy with work, so I haven't been doing much of anything other than just playing when I can on my time off. But uh, my Cold Sork Blizzy hit 91, Hammer's at 96, I got a Necro up to 87, and uh, Spiner gained a couple levels here too. Assassin's at 92, she hasn't changed much. Farmed an Uber with her though the other day, it was pretty fun. And then, of course, uh, I have a Javazon now at level 82. But the biggest change is I have a Light Sork. I've had her. I just haven't had a chance to uh, play her yet because of I was in the process of building up the gear. Uh, so uh, just about maybe three weeks ago, um, finally got the time to put her together. She was originally wearing a uh, upped Viper's Magi with an Um Rune, an Um Shaco. And of course, uh, using, I think she was using an Ashutas that I socketed with the 5 4 uh, level up die. Uh, she's also got full towels and, and an Oculus, obviously. But the biggest change for her recently is uh, the fact that I was able to uh, buy, I traded for a Griffin's Eye. I've never found one of these before, ever in the, in the game, going back to uh, LOD. So I'm still trying to farm one and find one. Obviously very highly in demand right now. And you, if you find the decent ones, you've got a lot of great trade value. But uh, in the past two, three weeks, I've been really fortunate playing with the hammer down. I found a jaw rune, traded it for a burrist. And then about within the span of two, three days, I found three sir runes. Cube to burr. Uh, you know, I... Uh, from one of the bourbons I found a while ago, I made a Chains of Honor for my Cold Sword. So she's now wearing a Chains of Honor. Uh, but what was really huge was I found a 19 Life 5 RS Smart Charm that I sold for two bourbons. And that's how I bought this Griffin side. This cost me two bourbons. I don't know if I overpaid for it or not, but I was really pleased with it. So uh, it was one off on uh, perfect ME Light Resistance. And uh, right now I got a 5-3 facet, a 5-3 die facet in there. So it's sitting at negative 24 and 15. So uh, I was pretty pleased because, you know, obviously the near perfect ones go for a ridiculous amount. Uh, like four, four, rune, four burr or jaw runes plus. But pretty happy with that. I rolled a uh, hodo for her a while back when I first started playing her. Uh, I got a 38 res hodo out of this. And this is the best out of all the ones I've rolled for my hammered in. And I've also got two offhand I use on my uh, uh, Frenzy Enigma Barb uh, for teleporting around. So this is the best one I had for her. My Enigma that I rolled three, four months ago that I use on everybody. I found this uh, Max 30 Res Maris a month ago. 35 of uh, Spirit uh, Chances. And I go to uh, Dual Stone of Jordans. I've got four of these currently, two on my Cold Sork and two on the Lightning Sork. And I, every once in a while I go back and forth between... Uh, uh, 30 Nagels. Uh, so I find that when I run the Nagel rings by getting the 30% more MF, obviously losing that skill and damage in the big mana pool uh, definitely definitely uh, hurts on a Lightning Sword because she consumes a lot of mana. So I prefer to run uh, the uh, instead of running the um, Nagels, I run the Dual SLJs on her and the Cold Sword. Uh, her MF right now at this current setup is at 227. So since I swapped her over to the Griff and away from the Viper's Magi to Enigma, this helped her maximize her life and her MF. Uh, so uh, she's using standard arachnids uh, and the best war traps that I had in the inventory. A 1519 torch, Annie. And she's got some all res small charms because that was a challenge. She was very short on fire res. So. I uh, got a Geats and four Lightning Skillers. I got really lucky early on. I found two from farming. The other two right here I re-rolled uh, from Bale or Diablo Grand Charms. Didn't get lucky on a life roll, but I was happy to get Lightning Skills out of it regardless. Offhand, six bow CTA and Spirit. Uh, so she's at 120 FCR. Decent on the Magic Find doing 34k lightning damage, 13k chain lightning, 
and this goes up exponentially when I do the battle orders. I think it's like 36.14. Somewhere in that ballpark, maybe 36.14. Let's check. Yeah, 36 and 13. With a skill shrine, lightning goes to 41k and chain lightning to 14. So I think it's overkill, but again, I like that damage output for kill speed. Because she's been dropping some pretty good runes for me. I know my Hammerdens who I found most of my high runes with, and I got lucky on a couple of burn jaw runes with my cold sword, but she has found an um rune so far. And these three gall runes were found a couple days ago doing cows within the span of 20 runs. So she's been dropping a lot more of the higher mids. Uh, she got the um rune off Diablo, bunch of pulls, and you can see tons of lems. And I did have at least at one point about 10 or 12 lums because she usually finds a lot of those. Whereas my hammered in usually finds the dolls and the IOs and the hell runes. So I think she's probably better suited to finding higher mid runes. Uh, plus, I, got, I still have that leftover sir rune, the ohm I got from a Diablo seal pop. I'm getting ready to set these lem runes and isrooms up on my. Uh, Frenzy Barb, probably going to use double listed Babas with a six open socket phase blade for a gold magic flying setup. Because uh, I've, I've never used a Barb in that capacity. I hear a lot of good news about people finding good runes or items doing that. So we'll see. But so far, I'm really pleased with her with the infinity, the griffs, and everything else. I mean, she's got just 2,256 life and a huge mana pool. Uh, so typically when I farm now with her, instead of having to worry about the lightning immunes everywhere, uh, with the griffs, I can take her anywhere. Obviously, my hammered is still my go-to for all the challenging things, but, you know, when I rush people, uh, with my lightning sork, uh, whether it be through nightmare or hell, I don't mind using her all the way throughout the game to rush folks, even to get, you know, Anya quest done or kill Nif, and I'll show you how easy that is here. A uh, typical farming strategy for me, though, is if I'm doing a lot of, uh, you know, different things, um, farm runs, I'll do a uh, uh, Kaos level, Kionis, Pits, which I absolutely hate because I never find anything good there, and then Andy, followed by sometimes Ancient Tunnels, always Summoner for the Keys, Travical Endurance, and then Diablo Seal Pops. Sometimes I'll do full clears of Chaos or the River of Flame. And I hit up Shank, Pindle, uh, go and do Nith, and uh, Bail. Uh, so, pretty cool little deal. I'll kind of show you just example gameplay of, again, my Light Sork. Uh, just kind of going anywhere. Probably a little long video, but. Oop, I want to be in Stony. There we go. Ooh, gem shrine. If I can find a skill shrine, I'll show you the added benefit of having this, you know, the skills. Uh, so, let's see what I want to do. Oops. I usually put those in there when I farm, so self-critiquing if you get a chip gem, right? Which I've done a lot. One thing I do miss about uh, the Sorceress builds as opposed to my Hammered in with the Enigma is that teleport speed is nice. Me, the Hammer is pretty powerful. He can go anywhere I want him to. It's definitely not as quick as this uh, lightning sort. Oops. Let's get that. I got a new headset too, by the way. That's uh, able to do uh, videos better. Because in the old days, how I used to do audio or even voice chat was I just plug in uh, my earbuds that I use on my phone. But I just recently purchased, uh, with the recommendation from a friend, uh, our, the uh, Still Series Arctis Pro Wireless. And I absolutely love them. It's quite pricey, but I tell you what, it's probably the last headset I'll own. 
uh, for at least a very long time. So as you can see here, that extra mana pull really helps. Uh, and going back and forth between lightning and chain lightning helps conserve the mana too. It's roughly about 50 mana costs uh, per uh, chain lightning cast, whereas the chain uh, the the lightning is just a little over it's like 28 and a half percent I think for me. So definitely uh, definitely helps the dual SLJs. All right, so here we go. I usually run uh, a full row of full juice when I'm out just doing my normal routine. Here in the cow level, I don't pick up many full juice, so I just go uh, with the mana row. All right. Obviously, you can get more damage out of chain lightning if you position your team just right. That's not bad. But I love that chain lightning for that AoE effect. Or AoE. And with that big mana pull, she's just still sitting here. Got through that big bomb group without having to cast or drink a new mana pot. It usually takes me on average between about three, four minutes or so to clear the cows. Sometimes longer if I'm. And I admit, I don't usually always hit up. Uh, you know the chest or anything, which I should. I get I get grief from that from my friends all the time. Uh, when we're running cow cow games together, but oops. But just for the video, I'll try to move this along. And she's really instrumental too in farming the chaos, or not the chaos sanctuary, the uh, arcane sanctuaries. I found some pretty decent runs there uh, with my hammered in. It's just, you know, teleporting around in there. He's really slow. I mean, she is just a beast, especially down those straight rows uh, in that map. Shooting a chain lightning through there at such a cheaper mana cost. Uh, obviously, if you get you know those extra ghosts or casters, they have a higher chance of, I guess, dropping you runes. But I found you know a couple of low runes, charm, bunch of other runes like an ist and goal there. Also got lucky and found the Stone of Jordan off of the Summoner way back during the game release. I think I traded that one. So yeah, quick run through on cows. I don't think I really found anything crazy. I'm doing a video project later for uh, crafting casters. So, uh, I'm trying to save up on those Rowl runes. I should be collecting jewels too. After that, I just go do the Countess. So, we can get lucky and find a skill shrine here. I heard of armor. I've been trying to focus on picking up all the blue uh, armors as well, just to get lucky. And I guess there's a big uh, four open socket jeweler's plate or armor of the whale that 
duelers are looking for. I'm not really into dueling, so. And I admit I haven't always picked those up, but in the last few weeks of focusing on those, I have found some jeweler's plates or armor just missing the holes or <laughs> gotten lucky and found uh, one with four sockets but it's missing the life <laughs> so it's like the RNG you know the game but been pretty lucky lately with and I'm happy and thankful for what I've had Cold Sark doesn't usually have any problems here, it's just Lightning Sark's a lot quicker. Obviously. Uh, against those cold immunes. Uh, keep the count is down. I go do the pits. I admit, I don't do the pits every single time I run. Just because I've never had that much luck there, but. I've tried to focus on just getting around quick, looking for the big groups, the bosses. I think the best thing I've ever found out of the pits is, I don't know, probably like a whiz spike or something. <laughs> I've never found anything great in here. So, yeah. Maybe some pretty decent rune word bases too, but some monarch. Found tons of those. I actually probably have about maybe six or seven of those in storage right now. But I do have uh, two ethereal monarchs that need holes punched in them. Probably gonna put those on uh, my Kixen offhand for. Obviously, CTA to save that extra 10 point spread on strength to put into life. Every little thing counts when you're running the Ubers. And speaking of Ubers, I've got another batch of keys that I've been saving up here to maybe do some future runs. This whole pit run, I have not hit a full juve or anything. There's my first hit off of that mana fountain. As you can see, just slow teleports. Our mana consumption is huge, but with the dual SLJ setup, uh, I'm maximizing that mana pool. And just like that. Nothing crazy. Never find anything there. Then Andy. Everybody knows Andy. Uh, since I stopped videoing my uh, or recording my loot videos, I picked up two more SLJs. So that was my seventh and eighth, I believe, uh, since D2R. Uh, I ended up giving one to my buddy, uh, Cooch, and. Uh, the other one I ended up just leaving in the stash. So now I got five currently on me. I traded the majority of them, though. I think I've. I have four right now. I've traded three. Oh, there's another ring. I usually find them off of her or uh, Mephisto. I've found two at Trav and the one at Summoner, which I've got videos for that. I was able to record back then, so hopefully we can get SLJ here. Nope, it's not my null. No worries. But I've been pretty lucky with finding unique rings. I usually, I don't know, find like three, four, or five per session, and sessions probably go, I don't know, maybe five hours, four or five hours. Shorter if I'm coming home from work. The biggest challenge with uh, the ancient tunnels 
is just, in my opinion, just finding a dang place. I hate having to look for it. Sometimes I could teleport right back it by it and I won't even see it. So let's see if we can find it here. up here. There it is. Uh, lots of slower mobs in here, but sometimes the horror mages are hard to break. Like right here. Doesn't look too bad. Hit up all the the jugs, of course, the urns, the chests. Just kind of keep it short today. Of course, I don't have a key. I'm not gonna go back for a key. I hate the ancient tunnels and pits, guys. I really do. I I much prefer farming like World Stone Keeper, Chaos, uh, River of Flame. Uh, so then, of course, the Arcane Sanctuary is one of the places I used to absolutely dread uh, back before I had the Enigma. And then when I got Enigma, it was somewhat tolerable with my hammered in. But now with the Lightning Sword, I mean, look at this. You don't even stop to kill everything. You just shoot a lightning bolt straight across all these mobs. Sometimes you hit them with a chain lightning. And you just go. If the hammer in, you kind of have to stop, kill, stop, kill. Cold Sork obviously had some problems with the immunes. Easy here with the lightning sorcerers. Again, that's just, you know, that's just a pass to get the key. Normally when I'm farming that, I'll go through every, um, every section just to clear it out to look for runes, too. Trivical, uh, historically I'd never, I mean I have, but I would very rarely ever farm Travical with my cold sword just because of the cold means and how squishy she is. So here, it's super easy. I didn't even use like a static or anything, so. Uh, let's see. Mechanics usually gets two sockets. So yeah, I mean that wasn't too bad. Pretty easy. And good old Mephisto. I think everybody knows Mephisto. Moat trap. This is where everyone goes when they're trying to get all their start gear for hell. It's like a reverse map. Ooh. I hate those stigeons. There's this one Durance map where uh, the door is not on the outside wall, it's on the inside wall. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen that, and that frustrates me because I'll either teleport past it and not see it exposed on the map, there it is, or not see it at all. Meth down. That was real quick. I uh, found a jaw and a burr here. Just clearing out council. 
I used to not always clear the council out, but I make a habit of it now. It doesn't take long here. Sometimes you'll get a lightning physical immune, uh, double immune. Just usually just static them into a wall, let my Merc kill them. No big deal. If it's getting to be a little bit of a challenge just by how long it takes to kill, I'll just I'll just pass. Alrighty. So usually my my go to on short days where I can't play that much uh, because of work or whatever, I'll just do uh, basically a run through Trav, Diablo Seal Pops and Bale. That's usually what I do uh, on solo. So And this is just kind of going back between Chain Lightning and um, Lightning Skill. Just kill the big boss herds. Boss. Ooh, this is pretty crowded. This is a challenge. Uh oh, luckily they showed up here at the end. Nice. Sail pops on the hammer are just painfully slow, but they work. He's got enough FCR uh, to to do them, but not as quick as uh, Sork. Before I rolled uh, her into Enigma, before I got the, the Griff, uh, her life pull was definitely... Burial Mage play, not bad. Her life pull was uh, just a little under 2,000 um, pre-Enigma, so... Pretty pleased with what she's doing now. After that, hit up Shank Pindle, or not Shank Pindle, Shank um, Eldritch. I have found, been pretty lucky here. I got a Gull rune off of him once. And I found probably two or three Chom runes off of this group. I think it was, uh, and a Sir rune. I found a Sir rune in a public game right here, just waiting on them to get to the throne. I used to farm keys with Blizzy back in the day before I had my Enigma, and that was always hit or miss because of the cold immunes. As you can see, Super easy with her. I mean, that was just so dumb. <laughs> and that's how it goes every time. So, just haven't had much luck getting tiki's lately through the countess.
Bail runs or bail runs. Right by left. See a group like this. Normally when I'm doing public bail runs, I'll just pass them off, but just for the sake of the video. I'm trying to keep the video short. Oh gosh, there's juicy characters here. Let's get these guys. Effortless. Absolutely effortless. Did y'all see that? Gold stack was 6666. <laughs> Evil. Yeah, I'm doing public, so I just go straight to the throne. Normally these are called a man. I don't know, uh, there's something about light swords too that I don't have as much trouble with souls as I do with uh, the cold sword. So it's just a lot better at fighting the souls. It's pretty interesting how that works out. Chain lightning here, by the way. Sometimes see his lighting or physical immune too, which ends up being a pain, but good thing about that infinity though is that crushing blow. Prevent monster heal. And lastly, I'm done with Bale, I'll just go hit up Pendle. I don't really find much off of Pendle, but... That's the farm routine, guys. It's pretty easy. I mean, she goes anywhere. Um... Got to go to uh, Frozen River. There's usually a lot of souls there, so hopefully we can find some souls. So I'll show you how easy it is for her versus my old sort.
Not that many souls here. Those snakes will mess you up too. There she is. Oh, that's where she would be. pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed the video like I said uh, never had a lighting sort before this is my first one and it's probably gonna be my first sort in the ladder if I do a ladder I'll probably just go straight to a lightning sort obviously it'll be a challenge without the right gear but um, so you can get some some decent gear up front and trade you know, for the runes to make the infinity or Griffin's Eye. Maybe get lucky and find these things yourself. You'll be set. Take care, you guys. Have a good one. Good luck.